Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny Anson's Real Tech Mod Pack. This is uh, this episode, I'm not having difficulty speaking today, I'm going to have a look at the Alvary and also the Escritoire. So we'll start with the Escritoire first of all. And that's over here. And I've got a tropical drone in it. And the reason I've been getting trop tropical drones in here is because I wanted lots of silky um, comb. Because I want to get lots of it. And it's actually very easy to use. You just click. Just turn, picking two of these. All I have to do is get it uh, a pair, which doesn't normally take very long. Then we get everything to get a pair. It should be fairly quick, <laughs> if I hope. Having said that, it's taking longer to take, of course. Now, now we've got a par, pair. And then here I've got some drones. I've actually got industrious drones because I've got uh, far too many. And you can examine the species. Like, click this button here. Then it reveals to you two more. So we've got two valiant drones in here. So that means this must be a pair. And then we get four silky combs and a note. Now this one's for making a common being from meadows and tropical. It increases the chances. Like that. And I've been repeating this quite a, quite a few times, as you may will as you will see in a second, to get this tropical to get this um, silky comb. Because one of the things I want to do, there we got a second one, noble drone. Does, as I said, it doesn't take too long. Then we've got a family and an ender drone. So we'll click the ender drone, that's a family, so we know which word pair is that. So we get this time we get six um six combs and we get a a trick on how to make a highest chance of making a sinister bee with a cultivated and a tropical. But we have to do that in the nether biome. And you go on like this, and now after a while you get a lot of comb, and it's a lot faster than the bees doing it themselves. Uh, without, well, obviously it's manual, and you've got to spend a bit of time clicking away for actually quite a long time clicking away before you'll get enough silky comb to actually do something useful. So we'll put those into there like that, and we'll have a look. See, I've already got. Did it, did it a few minutes ago to get some more. So I got some silky comb, which we can then th put through the, 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 the centrifuge again, and hopefully take it out of there, of course. Hopefully we'll then get some wisp, silk wisp, and then from that we can make some woven fabrics. This will take a few seconds to go through. And then from the woven fabrics, we can then make some protection against the bees, because we need protection against, especially about tropical bees, because they'll take you down to half a heart. So, today, let's get on with this bit. I've got 27 alvary blocks here and 11 wooden slabs. There's a reason for 11. You only need 9 to build this thing. But first of all, let's have a look at what I actually had to get or do to get this out. Everything prepared. So here we've got a book. Now, this clipboard. So we needed 216 royal jelly, which is 3 stacks and 24. The same for cl pollen clusters, which come from industrious bees. We needed twice as many beeswax, so that's 6 stacks 48. And wooden planks, we needed three times as many, so we needed 10 stacks and 8. Now, 10 stacks and 8 is 162 logs, so that was 2 stacks 36, because we need two extra for the slabs that go on the top. Honey, this is where I got it wrong last time, it was much more than I thought. 1080, which was 16 stacks and 56, almost 17 stacks of honey before we could do that. Now to make the um, impregnated casings, I needed 6,750 millibuckets of seed oil, which was 135 cherries from forestry, that is, which is two, points, two stacks seven, or you could do it with seeds, which would then give you 10 stack 35, just ordinary seeds. So this cherries, as you can see, reduced it by a factor of five, which made life a lot faster. So let's have a look at this. Let's just put it down like this. It's coming up to night time, I've noticed. I'm going to have to disassemble this quickly and have a sleep. And then we'll have a look at the, the extras that go on this. So it needs to be, it's a 3x3 three three block, of course, like most things are these days, it seems to be. And we need to put some slabs on the top of that, like that. And to do, I'm doing the slabs first is it's easier. Right, I can just finish this off now. And as soon as I finish this off, then we'll have an alvary. Like that. And then it forms into this multi block structure. And you can see the, and it's now got an interface. It doesn't have a space for frames. 
Um, and the reason it doesn't have a face, space of frames is it actually produces more produce than an apiary with um, frames, because an apiary with frames gives you double. This gives you more than double, so I believe. So next thing we're going to have to do is put a bee in it. Now, I've been busy. Actually, I've been busy breeding some ICBs. Now, an ICB was an industrious bee plus a winter bee. So that's the recipe for that one. I've actually got a princess here, which I've done for tw took 12 generations. No, it didn't take as many as that. We'll put this one into here, like this. And you'll see it says snow flowers. Well, that will disappear in a few seconds. It's also night time and it's too hot. So I'll be back in a few seconds when it's daytime. Now it's daytime and it's still too hot. Now we can fix that, at least for this particular bee. If we look at this bee again, it'll tell me that the uh, tell us that the icy is icy, which is really ice plains biome plus one. So that basic also means cold. Now we can simulate cold. We can't simulate icy. And then the temperature is normal or in both directions. The humidity is in both directions. So it can be a normal humidity and it can be a damp or a dry humidity. And you'll see at the moment we're in the plains biome, which has got normal and uh, temperature and normal humidity. Now, let's go and get the next bit. In here, I've got some fans. I've got seven fans. I was trying to get it to go into to IT. We only need, the max as we need is three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace some blocks out of here with these. In fact, it doesn't really matter, but I've got a, I've already prepared a relay up here so we can put this relay down here and connect these three blocks up. So I'll just take an axe and knock these three out. The axe is actually a bit strong. <laughs> As you can see, I was not taking it off fairly quickly, but it did actually manage to get that quite well there. Uh, dig up four blocks of dirt before I could actually do anything about it. So we'll put these three fans down like this and then we'll connect these up with some LV wires, wire connectors anyway, for a net, and then we'll connect some wires against that. So we'll just go up to that one. Oh shoot, I've got to do my hand away. Right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, and right click. Now these are all on, and you can see it's slightly blue. Now this bee should then be happy. And you see it's now it's now cold by a normal temperature. Now we can affect this other things with this. So one of the things the produce of the ICB is going to be combs and also ice shards like this. So we've got frozen combs and ice shards. Now from a frozen comb we can take these and we can spin these and will give us um, some snowballs. I think it's guaranteed a chance of snowball. Let's have a look at the uses of those in the centrifuge. 40% uh, chance of snowballs. Okay, now we can get this ice pollen cluster, so we probably need at least three of those if we're going to get some snowballs. Let's go and take those to the centrifuge over here and plug those in. So at the moment we've got some silky comb, and actually, I think that silky comb's already cut out. It's a bit it's slightly buggy this thing I think from things and we should be getting snowballs so I've got plenty of snowballs here I only want one snowball and four ice shards and then we're going to take these over and we're going to put those into a squeezer so I've got a squeezer ready I've got I can use one that I was using for the um, this one here which I was using for um, honey so I can put those into there like that and you'll see I've got four buckets of crushed ice. So we can take those out, I think, just by... Do I have to put it in there? Yes, I think I put it in there. And you get a bucket of crushed ice out. Now, to make this thing colder, we've got... The, or drier or damper, we use this hydroregulator here. So this alvary hydroregulator is one of these blocks here, like this. Which we can take out, we can put in somewhere on the side of this. Let's do it at the back here, in the middle. I think I only need one. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, yeah, very good. <laughs> again, done it again. Doesn't need any power, this one. 
let's put it in like this when you right click this it tells you it doesn't actually tell you but in here we can put water lava or crushed ice so i'll put some crushed ice in there like that and that's getting consumed and if we now have a look at this i think it should say cold does it need more than that hmm maybe i need more i'm not 100 percent sure see it's, it's ticking down and i'm hoping to get for it to go to icy so maybe it needs more um something i haven't tried as it happens if I put water in, it'll go. It'll get humid. So let's take a. Probably can't do it with a bucket. Maybe I can't take it out with a bucket. Probably need a, a pipette or something like that to take it out, or let it use itself up. No, you can't take it out that way. So I'd have to use a pipette when all that that just run out. And then it'll make, that should make it. I'm I'm surprised it doesn't show me any differences in there. But it, maybe we need more than that. Anyway, you'll see it's got an eye shard out of here. Now what we can do is we can actually get that out. And that, so we cover the next part of this, which is what I'm using an, an extracting conveyor belt for, a conveyor belt and a vertical conveyor belt, plus one of these, genetics filter. Now the recipe for the genetics filter is, is like this. So it's gears, two diamonds, propolis we can also do it with uh, different types of rare forestry fruit as well planks and that's it so it's not too it's a bit expensive it's basically one diamond per each one of these bronze gear is not too much of a problem but the diamond could be um i've been reasonably lucky with my diamonds and found enough so what i can do is i can put this down here like this and i want it to face that way <laughs> you see it's immediately flicked it out at me now what we can do with this is we can then feed this into a um, genetics filter like this and then it gets different coloured sides. So what I want it to do is I would like at the moment, I'd like to take this up to the top. Now because it snows what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two slabs at the top and that will stop, that will prevent snow blocking the um, conveyor belts. So now we need to put in a conveyor belt. So I'll feed one going into the into this. I think I can do it like this. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, that's working just fine. And I want this vertical one to connect to this. So if I press, I think I have to do it like wrong way. <laughs> I knew it was going to be wrong. Let's just break this off and put it down. I think I have to do it on the bottom here, don't I? Try it like that yes good so now it's going upwards and you'll see that this has got the third connector coming up here to point it upwards and this will take items out of here so let's look at this filter so we've got yellow on the left and green on the right so here you are it's got no information here at all at the moment so what you can do is it says it's closed so let's say on the yellow we would like to put bees so we can select the yellow one like this and we can select what we want to do so you've got things like you can have a queen you can have a purebred, you can have a princess, you can have a drone, you can have items. Okay, so items want to be on the green one, which is on the right. And any bee can go on the left, so we can select any bee and it goes into here. And then you can be more specific as to what type of bee you would like to have. So you could have different types of bees, like I see. We could put I see in here. So, and I think this is an all gate. It's been a while since I've done this, I've probably got it wrong. Anyway, we'll put this, any bees will go left. And on the right hand side, we want any item. So let's select this and move that. So what's going to happen now is that bees are going to go in here and items are going there. So at the moment we've got 42, oh well actually 26 and let's do 43 of those. And we'll wait a few minutes, we'll get some more. Like that. So when it gets produced, it'll come out now and it'll come into this pipe and it'll go across into one of these two things. And later on, because it hasn't finished yet. I think I need to move these a bit. This was the different generations of things that I've got. So first of all, we've got icy drones, which are pure icy drones. Well, that's an icy wind tree, which should be down here. Okay. <laughs> so these are icy drones. And you'll see the slight differences. These have got flowers. And this is well, snow and flower things. 
but both the temperatures are, are the same. This one here has got no extra humidity bits, and but the other bits and pieces have, have changed. So this is a slow worker, this is a slower worker, and so on and so forth. And these are industrious crosses. And these were icy winter ones, and this was an icy glacial. So I actually got my first glacial bee when I was doing this. So what I would like to do is to move these down here like this. Because the first row is going to get filled up with the new breeds or whatever that is coming through. And what I'm waiting for is to get a consistent pair. I haven't got a consistent pair yet. So if I look at the these two here, you can see that they're slightly different. Not in temperature, but in terms of other things. So let's just take these two out of here and analyse those. So this one's got short life, slower. It's fast. It's a fast producer, and it's got this one's got snow as inactive flowers, and it's got two offspring, and it gives you this effect freezing. And all of this, so it's just a daytime bee that only works in the daytime, and it can go from icy to cold, and it can be normal. And this one, I think that was fairly the similar exactly. That was swapped over, and this was four bees per round so to speak uh, per generation and this is the same in that, in that case but I got one of these queens where she actually well, didn't tolerate that at all so I had to go and find an icy biome which I did find an icy biome I think it was 2400 blocks away well of course I used another for traveling across to that one so let's have a look now it's 48 and 26 I think it was 25 before wasn't it so we can make more of this crushed ice. So let's go and get a bucket of water. You see everything's frozen up at the moment. If I put a slab on top of this, it wouldn't freeze. The other option is I can break it. Probably not the best place to do it. I've got a freeze as well. Let's go and do that somewhere else where I've actually got some... I could do it here, can't I? Let's get a bucket of water out of here now. I'll go and quickly get that, jump in and get that piece of ice that came out of there. So hopefully by now it's finished in terms of ice in here. Yes, it has. Not quite, actually. Let's put the bucket of water in there. And when that goes through, what we should see is, uh, is it's still going down, even though it's not, not in operation because it's dark and it's, it's not daytime and it's not bright enough. I'm not sure what the difference between those two are, but no, I suppose I do know. No, I don't really. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, I'll come back in a second when this is finished. Now it's finished, as you can see. Actually, this is going down fairly fast compared to the crushed ice. Let's have a look at this, what's that done to us. It's still actually changed. The humidity is still normal. Okay, so in that case, what I'm going to have to do is to make some more of those hydro regulators. So let's have a look at doing that next. Just a crafting recipe, basically. And the, the other one that's useful is the heater, which makes things hotter. So let's come over to the crafting area. I think it's still winter. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's winter, and this is on. And this is going to make me very hot. And I was wondering why I was getting hot. Because I'm outside, and that's inside, and I'm about not 20 blocks away but I'm actually getting hot as you can see so let's put the temp tamp info in again well maybe tamp temp info would be better you'll see it going up to 20 up to 20 and, I'm, and it's 10 from climatization I was going shouldn't be working outside why is it working and of course it's working because I built that platform for just getting rid of the pollution <laughs> well there you are then so anyway that without it to do let's have a look at this thing so the uses of these elvery blocks we can make a swarmer now a swarmer what that does will actually hopefully over a period of time will actually end up with some more bees a swarm of bees and what you'll get is an ignoble princess now with an ignoble princess what you can then do later on so you've got the fan which you've looked at already and the heater makes it cooler and hotter cooler and warmer and then you've got the hydro regulator and then you've got the stabilizer and the stabilizer basically prevents an ignoble queen from dying so that is the counteract of that one and the last one of these is the sieve 
So I need to make some sieve. I'm running out of iron, as it happens. <laughs> Strangely enough, I've got 42 left. Isn't that awful? Let's just take those into there and put them in there. I've got a few more than that, actually. We'll go and get some cloth as well. Silk, woven silk. Is it? So I've already reached 20. Now I've been making some woven silk in the in the carpenter over here. This one. And I've actually got enough. So I've got 26 of these. And all it is is just nine silk wisps will give us some woven silk. And then with that woven silk we can do other things. Let's go and get to see if we can if there's that propolis is um not propolis is silk silky propolis has actually been uh processed yet so we've got eight of these and two slip wisps like this so from those eight we probably will get a number of silk wisps i think the chances are 50 percent as you can see you can just see them flashing out through here every once in a while we've got another three i was hoping to get four now, i don't think we'll get five unfortunately to get the full amount that we need to make another one of those but there were two in there so we could put that in it and it would have produced another cloth but at the moment I've got 28 which is fine I need 24 to make protection and 28 uh, will do we'll actually do I've got five so we can make another one of these you can use nine of those and we'll get another woven silk so let's um, prepare ourselves because then we can start with the nasty bees the sinister bee and the fiendish bee and all those nasty bees around and the tropical bees are nasty bee so we can make a costume so we'll make some leggings apris pants we'll do a hat apris hat we'll do a chest plate and we'll do some boots and that gives me five left and with those five, I can make a. Um, let's have a look at use of this one. Again, we can then make one of these. So this time we've got an Avery sieve. And in the sieve, you can put in woven silk. Fantastic, huh? So now, when we put this on, of course, it's not, it doesn't give you any heat protection. You look like that. Very sweet and cool, huh? <laughs> But since we're working with bees, we'll come in and have a look over here. So this time we've got, I think that must have finished. Yes, it's finished. So we should see the bees in here. So this time I've got two icy drones and an icy princess. So have a look at this lot. Now, so this time they're identical. Ah, oh, that's still not quite uh, exactly this right. But this is, this is what I expect I will get in the end. So we get short life slower but a fast fast pollinator and flowers and two offspring and it's that's not going to change because they're identical in all directions this one's still got in here four but everything else is the same so now we can activate this so we can say that we would like to get, remove that one um to right click it so now the white one is the top one. So I'm going to put any B in here like this again. And I'm going to say what ICB is in here. So ICB also go up. It doesn't matter what type of ICB, they'll just go into the top there. It's a chance I'm going to it's not going to work. So let's just try this anyway. Because the next one's got to be identical for that for it to go in. If it doesn't go in, I think it should go into this chest here. We'll see. So now Let's put this into the into the construct here. Maybe I shall put it. Yes, I'm going to replace this one because it's probably empty right now. So we can easily knock this one out. Is it an axe I need? Yes. That time I didn't break it. And what this is going to do is we now put a sieve in. Uh, where we're looking here it will catch pollen and then we can use that pollen for doing the trees I th it doesn't I don't know how often it's going to do it but we'll find out how long it takes for that to work so I think that's something for a future episode I'd like to see this come through and check it out so what I'll do is I'll 
I call it, I'll have a break now and I'll come back in a few minutes when it's actually finished this cycle. See you in a few seconds. Right, any second now this will finish and we should see the two bees coming out of there. And hopefully we'll see it coming out from underneath here and going into the top. So it won't be, it takes, I think it's 27 seconds for each bee tick, so to speak. And this should be the last of the B ticks. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. And sure enough, they're all taken up. So those two beats on the top there didn't go in because they must be different. So let's just take out of... Oh. It was too late. I took it out. Let's just take these out of here and analyse those before we go any further. So it's still got the same property. Both up. And then these two... I see four flowers, so you, you can see it's basically it's just this four flat, four offspring or not four offspring is the uh, is the result <laughs> question so to speak. <laughs> so we'll put those into there like that, and then we'll leave that. So they, that the same thing will happen next time, but maybe that one of the D, uh, bees despawns. So let's go around the back here. I have put in a a swarmer, and you'll see that we get items into here. And it's also night time and here we've got some pollen already now i thought this used to take damage but it doesn't seem to be taking damage oh, maybe it does when you take it out it disappears uh, okay so you really want to wait until you get four of those so let's go and have a look at this the uses of this one for example this is apple oak red spruce and mundane larch let's just have a look at the mundane larch the uses of that one right you can smell it Fantastic. <laughs> we can make it with a red spruce. We can try and get a sugar maple. We've got bull pines already. We haven't got this coast sequoia, sequoia which is, again is this one. It's the second generation up. So let's go and have a quick sleep because it's already night time again. And I'll be back in a second. We'll go and test this out. Right, here I've got a. This is a bull pine. So what we can try and do is it's already been most of these leaves are already crossbred anyway. <laughs> so let's have a look at doing this with this with this pollen. So all we have to do is take the pollen and right click this onto here like that, and then it should immediately change like that. Um, and you can see also that I've got the helmet on in here. It actually makes a difference. Take it off again. You can see that those have not become quite so coloured. So let's just see what we get from that. We actually got a, another large and we've got a lot of these in here as you can see different they're probably all going to be producing different trees as i can see. <laughs> i'm going to be careful i don't want to break this just yet because it's got it's got enchanting on it i can't even pick these up anymore so that's the idea so what do we get a teak sapling that's actually good because teak is quite rare a bull pine sapling and silver two silver birches and these didn't get picked up. What do we get in there? So we oh, another mundane large sapling and a the bull pine. Anyway, the chance for getting that was quite rare anyway, so let's put this back on again. Get into some space. Oh you can get there. <laughs> right, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. So uh, bees are special. Definitely special, actually quite a lot of fun to do, it takes quite a lot of time. Next episode, I'm going to go and visit my galley kitchen, which I've built in the um, the new base, or the jungle base site. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>